Hi there great people. I hope you've been all uh, good and well and safe. Um, I'm slowly getting there. I'm getting a little bit better every day and if, uh, if you do watch my channel and you watch my videos properly uh, you'll know what I'm talking about from last Monday. Um, and yeah, some of that, well not some of it, all of it was my fault to be honest. But you know, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. I just, just wish the one person that I really care about more than anything in the world would just uh, you know, let me have that one bump in the road, that one mistake and um, move on from that just like it was before which was absolutely awesome, you know, it was wonderful uh, but yeah, anyway, I've just left McDonald's, you should have watched that video because it would have been uploaded before this one and if you did watch that video then you'll know where I am now because in the video I did say that on the way back from Saltash, on the way back home, I was going to stop at a place called Holton Key which is H-A-L-T-O-N-Q-U-A-Y on the way back to show you what is the tidal river Tamar. The river Tamar actually runs uh, way down into Cornwall in through Launceston, I've actually showed you it I think on one of my videos uh, but obviously it wasn't as wide as this because we're getting much closer to the sea now. I think maybe about eight miles downstream of here is where this tidal river Tamar actually goes into the uh, actual sea at Plymouth Sound. Um, well, let me just show you quick and as you can probably see not just that I'm absolutely sweating it's about 30 degrees Celsius but also that the let's jump down here that the tide is coming in but I mean wow well, I said this is Tamar estuary and it's a tidal river Tamar so it's all salt water it's gorgeous isn't it all the boats uh, there aren't many boats but there is way further down um, and this is actually the key wall here which obviously but way back would have been used for probably loading stuff like um well put it this way uh cornish sardines uh cornish tin probably and here we actually have a lime kiln which has been blocked off for safety reasons there's a lime kiln there uh, which have been in before when it wasn't blocked off and i've actually fished here as well if you're wondering several times um I ain't had much success. I've night fished here. I've fished in the day. I've fished all sorts of times. I've caught bits and pieces, nothing major. As you can see, it's extremely soggy. I've actually had Lewis caught down here before, and uh, I've gone in. So you can, oh, it might, it might be a little bit of firmness to it, but then you end up like literally halfway, up, well, to your knees, literally. You can probably see though if I uh, get closer. See the prints uh, for the docks and stuff like that. Probably seagulls. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let me just do like a 180 or whatever you want to call it, very slowly gorgeous scenery the fact that there's only literally two cars well one van two cars here is quite amazing uh remember i mentioned in the video for here for holton key i was going to show you england's smallest chapel so let's go over there and do that right now there ain't much to it and i'm not gonna be able to get in it because it is locked uh but i'll show you very quickly and then i'm gonna get on home it was about 15 minutes from mcdonald's to Holton Key here, and it's about another half an hour home from here um, <coughs> depend on traffic and hopefully actually to live on the way back because on the way to Plymouth to McDonald's in my last video um, I had a really bad high speed wobble at 95 mile an hour on one of the straights and uh, the wobble lasted about three quarters of a mile because um, <coughs> I got hit side on by a big gust of wind and uh, <coughs> I thought it was probably coming off to be honest let me just show you one side of this and I'll show you the actual uh, sign, uh, which is obviously in old English. This is in, in most to this, to be honest. I like the flag as well, the Ukrainian flag, support for Ukraine, of course. Look at the size of that bell. Must be also England's smallest church bell. But what a spot to be on. Look, I mean, look what, look what it's actually facing, you know, right on the banks. This probably would have been important at some, some time or another. Uh, going way back. Let me just show you the sign and then I'm going to get going. I've got lots to do today. You can see the Holton Key in 689 St. Indract and his sister St. Dominica, which is up the road, St. Dominic, a small village. First world birth landed near the spot. The Holy Well is at the Green Bank, nearby St. Dominica's parish church. Two miles inland, it's not far up here, I've been there before, a couple of nice pubs. The village of St Dominic dates from the 12th, 13th century, sorry, I'm getting that wrong there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, you know what I'm going to do uh, next, because I've already sorted out earlier on, before I even went to, to do my McDonald's video, and obviously this one, I went in the town hall, spoke to one of the clerks there, and I've got my name down at the castle 
in the shop cafe thing there which you need to go through to get into the actual castle itself to go up it which i promised and my name's down that boat i can go as much as i want now seven days a week i think it's from like nine in the morning till five tea time or something uh, but i think monday i'm probably going to do that video for you guys uh, and you'll re-enjoy it and the views up there are spectacular anyway i just hope every day now i'm gonna wake up to feel that a little bit better and I'm really hoping seriously that that one person comes back around and I will prove that even if you make one mistake you do learn from your mistakes and any promises I may have made I will stick to them but unless I'm given that chance I cannot um, do much about it but we'll see they say time's a great healer and I hope that statement is true uh, with regards to her who knows but I'm gonna have to keep on trying to keep on going as cabin 31 on your channel said to me um anyway please if you like the video please check out my videos and playlists on paul b hustling 85 which is all one word and please especially like subscribe oh, I'm sweating. and please hit that notification bell guys thank you so much